What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I wanna share with you seven of my favorite websites where I find inspiration. For web design, UI design, UX design, you name it. These are my favorites. Let's take a look at them. The first site on my list is gotta be Behance. It's an easy, great, awesome place to go to find all the inspiration you might need. There's live streams, there's job boards, there's ways to discover any and every kind of creativity you might be looking for. But one of the things I think Behance stands out for is the ability for people to create really, really clear cut case studies. Um, they're beautiful, you can design them in whatever design software and then they upload them in these long kind of beautiful case study formats. Behance is just really, really good for it. So if you're looking at how to brand a case study, build a case study, tell a narrative story about the work that you've done, Behance is fantastic for that as well as all of the other reasons already mentioned. Next up, you can't talk about Behance without talking about Dribble. Dribble is a fantastic design community that has anything and everything that you're looking for. I love heading over to Dribble, hitting on popular, and then jumping over to something like web design or product design. Dribble's very unique where everything's really fast and bite-sized. You don't have to have these long in-depth case studies. I love Dribble's ability to filter down really quickly so we can open up the filters. We can say, hey, give me everything that's in kind of like this bluish color and I wanna see things that are in the past year. And oh yeah, why don't you just give me everything that was made inside of Figma and Figma alone and there you go. We've narrowed it down in a really, really strict way. So I love the filtering capabilities of Dribble. It's fast, it's effective, and I find tons of inspiration. One of the best things about Dribble is commenting and receiving comments and feedback on your work. So be part of the community. It's pretty great. A site that I go to all the time and just stare at and I'm amazed by is awards.com. That's awards with three W's. This is the online website awards of the world and they have only the best of the best on their site. If you hope to be one of those amazing award-winning designers, this is where you hope your stuff gets nominated to is over here at the awards site. They have tons of inspiration here, but one of the things they do really well is they find all of the website design that's pushing the boundaries, that's pushing the limits of what's possible. I also love jumping over into the menu, seeing the winners versus the nominees, and I especially love heading into the collections where I can drill down on specific interactions or types of websites. For instance, I wanna see websites that have great menu inspiration. There's 428 sites for me to look at, and these are all best of the best, cream of the crop that have risen to the top. That's awards.com. The next one is screenlane.com, and this is just everything you could possibly imagine just chucked into one site when it comes to mobile, web, UI, UX design. What I really love about Screen Lane is your ability to kind of jump over and drill down on specific things like iOS apps, landing pages, web apps, or maybe I wanna see pricing pages or integrations. So I can hit pricing and head over and see all the different you know, designs that have been submitted that represent that pricing category. If I wanna see something like an audio player, I can drill down into that and see it as well. A lot of inspiration really, really quickly from all over the place. Screen Lane is a place to do that. Talking about website design inspiration, you gotta talk about siteinspired.com. It's a great place to go. Again, if you wanna drill down and find specific things, you could just peruse all of these amazing designs that are submitted in here all day long. I love it. But I also love to drill down on something called styles and types. So styles would be, hey, show me animation or you know fun or glitch or retro or vintage or types would be, hey, show me something that has to do with an annual report or florist or a gallery or museum. This is great because a lot of times I'm working on something that might have to do with an agency or consultancy or education or recipes. I can go ahead and click the different types and then boom, I get a bunch of examples to kind of fill my competitive set and see what other people are doing. I may not know what recipe sites are out there off the top of my head because I don't make recipes and I don't run a cooking or recipe website, but this is a great way to find some of those types and styles really, really quickly. That's siteinspire.com. Another great inspiration for websites specifically, just like the last one, is sitesee.co. This one has tons of great submissions, great work, 
Um, you can submit your own stuff, but again, you're also able to filter down. I like that this mixes your ability to filter down between types, but then also colors. Maybe I'm looking for some orange inspiration and some informational stuff. It's gonna show me those things, which is pretty cool. I love that you can see things really quickly at a glance. If you click on any one of these, it's gonna open up the website, but also you can click on details and just get a little bit of a synopsis of what's going on here. It's informational, it has these shades. It's really cool, really simple. That's sightsee.co. All right, the last one of the day is OnePageLove.com. This is a site dedicated to one-page website inspiration, and they have a good mixture of different things. So it's not only gonna be that A Triple W award style, everything's really typographic driven and really motion activated. Sometimes there's gonna be some simpler things here, so you can kind of find, I don't know, just a plethora of different inspirations. Again, I love being to drill down and filter on things. You can do that by hovering over inspiration, jump over to apps or events, experimental, photography, all the different categories that they have there. But this site also has some other things like learning and workshops and templates you can grab. So it's a cool resource just in general. That is OnePageLove.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design, development, and web and app inspiration, just like this one. So hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and that little bell notification so you know when another video like this one comes out. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments section. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're staying inspired. We'll see you in the next one.